Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's all calm down for a second, all right? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're going to be quickly going over the new Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX medal that just got dropped in JP. Now, I know everybody is just flipping their butts off right now. And, like, I don't blame you. Every single time a new Kyrie medal drops in the game, it's always, always a game breaking medal. So, don't worry, it is completely understandable when I see people just losing their mind over the fact that it just got dropped. And for good reason, too. It's, it's really busted. It's really busted, really good. But there's a few things I, I kind of need to say about it just to help ease your guys' minds about it as well. Before anything else, let me go ahead and talk about what this medal actually does. So if we take a look at the JP announcement for the game, and I have it translated in Google Chrome already. Uh, just so you're aware, this is what Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX does, alright? She is a speed upright metal, tier 8, cause 0 gauges. The multiplier doesn't matter, she's mainly for the, for the ability. She has a new ability called Overwrite, which means that she basically dispels yourself first and then applies her buffs to yourself and your debuffs to your opponent. Kind of similar to Man in Black. And then the rest of her ability says that for one turn, she gives you plus 7 general strength, plus 7 PSM strength, and plus 7 upright strength. As well, she also inflicts on the opponent uh, minus 7 general defense down uh, debuffs, uh, minus 7 PSM debuffs, as well as minus seven upright defense debuffs. Uh, she provides one extra counter, fully restores your HP, restores 10 gauges, as well as has an Asuna ability, which completely gets rid of all of your uh, status ailments that are currently on you when you use the metal. Now, I know, I know what you're all thinking. This metal is just busted, completely nuts, okay? Uh, I have to get this metal because it's a Kyrie metal. I, like, I have no choice, okay? It's either I get it or I don't get it or I'm screwed uh, for the longest time in the long run, okay? This girl right here is quite literally what I've been expecting <laughs> for a while, okay? Uh, for those of you that have been watching my advice on the Prime Medals, I've quite literally been stating that I'm already expecting a cap increase in buffs uh, sometime these next six months or so. Because I was fully expecting a medal sooner or later to fully cap out our buffs and debuffs anyways. And now Kyrie EX Plus is here, which came a little bit sooner than I was expecting. I figured that, you know, they would finish the Prime Medals first before doing something like this, but like, oh well, she came earlier than expected. However, uh, there's something about the JP banner that they received in terms of this medal that I want you guys to be aware of, uh, and I want to provide some quick advice on as well, because uh, it's, it's not nearly as bad as people are making it out. But in JP, she's a falling price deal where the first draw is for free, you're guaranteed a 7-star Tier 4 medal within the game, as well as a uh, guaranteed a trait medal for the new Kyrie EX Plus medal as well. However, all of this is meaningless, because like I said before, this banner is not at Mercy for. Now, for those of you who are new to the game, have only been playing for a few months or so, I'm telling you right now, non-Mercy pull banners are quite literally the devil, okay? They are pure cancer for both the community and your soul. Any type of banner that's a non-mercy pull within the game is quite literally not worth pulling for ever, ever. I don't care how good this medal is. If it's a non-mercy pull when it hits global, I am not pulling from this medal, nor am I going to recommend pulling from this medal. I'm almost going to say, just don't do it, okay? Like, unless you're a whale and you have tons of money just laying around that you're perfectly willing and capable of just tossing away and not let it affect you, I do not think it is worth pulling for th from this banner at all whatsoever, nor do I think it's good for you either. You know why? Here's the problem when it comes with non-mercy pulls. Now, if this does happen to be a mercy pull, then things will change for global. But as of right now, I'm not expecting it to be a mercy pull at all whatsoever, and I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up being the case. In which case, I will not recommend pulling from this banner at all whatsoever. Because quite literally, this is what's going to happen for a majority of you who try pulling from this banner, most likely. Based on previous experience, and trust me, okay, <laughs> all long-term players uh, who've been sticking to the game as long as I have know exactly what I'm talking about as well. 
this is more or less going to be what happens to you if you try pulling from this banner. All right, you're gonna go in. You're gonna go in with your measly 10,000, 15,000 jewels that you have in your in your account. Okay, uh, you're gonna try pulling from a few times. You'll get the trait medals. You're like, oh, okay, I got the trait medals. Ho hopefully, I can get within a few more pulls. Okay, you never get her. And they're like, well, crap, already, I'm already this much in, and she's a game-breaking medal. I guess maybe this one time I can dump in some money to try and get this game-breaking medal. Uh, you, you dump in a hundred bucks. You don't get the medal after, like, 10, 15 pulls, and then you're like, oh, crap, I'm already this sunk into the hole. I guess I might as well just go all the way in. And then you spend another a hundred or three hundred bucks on the banner. And by the time you finally get this medal, you've already done 40 to 60 pulls. You spent about anywhere from 200 to 400 bucks. Not saying that I personally gone that far, okay? <laughs> but I know lots of people who've done so. You spent a few hundred bucks trying to get this medal. Um, and for that one second of bliss, knowing that you got this busted medal in the game right now, which can actually very easily still be replicated her effects uh, for the most part through other medals in the game too. But now you're in a situation that you literally just paid almost an entire month's rent or at least like a month or two's worth of grocery food money right there too. Basically money you could have spent on real world expenses. And now you just feel like absolute crap. Because you realize you literally just spent almost an entire month's worth paycheck on this one banner. Which can very easily in like another month or two be reprinted as a better banner. And maybe even be a mercy pull that time too. Uh, maybe it would even come with some better medals guaranteed as well. Uh, just better banners overall. We're gonna see this medal again. It's not going to be the last time we're gonna see Kyrie EX. And even worse, just speaking about that, when those banners actually roll around, you're gonna be like, you're gonna feel even worse again because of the fact that you just realized that you spent 400 bucks on a medal that you could have easily gotten for maybe a hundred on the Mercy Bowl that we're gonna get in a couple months. <laughs> That's quite literally what's gonna happen. So I am not saying without reason at all whatsoever, uh, partially from experience myself, but by no means. If this banner is not a mercy pull banner for global, just don't pull. Okay, it is not worth the effort at all. It is not worth the emotional roller coaster that comes along with it at all either. Uh, and honestly, honestly, you'll be you'll be just fine without the medal. Weirdly enough, the game is in a good enough position where you can still manage just fine without the Kyrie EX Plus medal just yet. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe, guys, and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Go ahead and let me know what you think about the whole situation and about the medal itself down in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to see what everybody else has to say about it. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode.